everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica. I'm Emily. I'm Kevin. And today's video is a homeschool show and tell. The homeschool show and tell is an open collaboration hosted by Abby from Rooted and Rest and myself. Our goal when we started the homeschool show and tell two years ago now was to just show that there wasn't one right way to homeschool. And we do that by bringing homeschoolers together from around the world and we all share our different takes or opinions or um, tricks and tips on different topics every single month. This month's topic is going to be year end reflections and record keeping. So we're just kind of wrapping the end of the homeschool year up all together. And for us, it seemed very, very fitting for all three of us to be in the video because our homeschool is all of us. We don't, it's not just one of us, it's all three of us, right? Uh -huh. We're a family unit, we homeschool together. And so I thought it would be kind of fun to reflect on our homeschool year together as a family. So what I did is I came up with a few questions that I thought we would all answer and kind of reflect on our homeschool year together. And then I'm also going to be leaving a link in the description box that you're going to want to check out because it's going to be a playlist to all of the other people sharing their end of the year reflections and record keeping. Now I'm not going to be sharing our record keeping in this video because I have done in-depth videos of how we record keep. I keep a digital portfolio because we live in the state of Florida and that's something we have to do legally is do a portfolio. So I keep it digitally and I have details on all of that. I'll leave a link in the description box and I will link it up here at the eye in the sky so that you can read more about that and watch that video. All right, you guys, you ready to answer some questions? Totally. Give it okay. a whirl. All right, so the first question is, Emily, how about you go first? What two or three words would you use to describe this past homeschool year? Probably fun, exciting, and awesome. I think that means we did a good job, babe. Nah, I'll take <laughs> that one to the bank. Okay, what about you? What two to three words would you use to describe this past homeschool year? I think it was active and pretty exciting. I would agree with that. I am going to go for broke and like twist the rules a little bit and use compound words. And I'm going to say that it was interest led because almost everything we did followed your interest mm -hmm. and that it was laid back because in previous years we've been a little more high strung and it felt like we were laid back and okay with that this year. Mm -hmm. um, and definitely fun, exciting, engaging, all of those things too. Oh, definitely. Yeah. All right, next one. Emily, what is your most memorable moment from the past homeschool year? This one's going to be a, um, like a tiny moment. I think it's when we started journaling. Really? It, it was pretty fun when we started out and we were writing about what, what we were doing and just the small little moments. So of all of the things we did this past homeschool year, us journaling was your favorite? Well, that's awesome. We'll have she to... likes that one-on-one, -on -one, no matter what. It, she does like the one-on-one. -on -one. But we're going to have to make sure we do more of that if that was her favorite. Yeah, well, I thought I'd do pretty good with the, <laughs> with the STEM department. but Oh, I think Daddy's jealous. Uh -huh. You have to tell him that bit. that was a runner-up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Being there's only three of us. <laughs> All right. What about you, babe? What was your most memorable moment from the homeschool year? Uh, well, the whole thing was I really got to kick off my STEM and do everything that I've wanted to do because I could just devote all myself and my time to it. But my most exciting was the uh, big explosion. Oh, are you talking about where it got everywhere? You everywhere. Were everywhere. Where you guys did the elephant toothpaste and it got in your hair and on the ceiling and on the wall. <laughs> really? Not that was, even on the I think shelf. that might have been a memorable moment for me too as we were cleaning <laughs> stuff up from the ceilings and walls. A messy well. memorable moment. It was. It was, it was definitely messy. So what was yours? But did Me you guys Mentos have fun though? and all that stuff outside yeah. was pretty cool, but the one that blew through the kitchen window and made the mess in the kitchen and the downstairs, <laughs> that, was, that was pretty cool. I'm up for more. So my most memorable moment, I think, was our field trip to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. While we did some really, really cool stuff all year long, I think the look on all of our faces when we kind of like walked through and were in the moment and, you know, something that we've done in our homeschool for the past four or five years kind of was physically brought to life before us. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was kind of a thrill um, when y'all gave me that t-shirt and I was like, no way, we're not. You, we're totally going to Universal. Plus, yeah. I mean, it was our first day of school, and what better way 
to have a memorable moment than your yeah, first day at school. I don't think any of my brick and mortar <laughs> would compare to... Yeah, I yeah. don't think I've ever had a first day of school that was nearly as cool as that one. And not yeah. just for her, but for us too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Riding Hag <laughs> Hagrid's ride, yeah, yeah. 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 Just, yeah. Casting spells. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that was yeah. Cool. All right, Emily, what was one of the coolest things you learned this year? I think my coolest thing that I learned was um, human body, where the right side of your brain controls the left side of your body, and the left side of your brain controls the right side of your body. That that was pretty fun, like weird but cool. It is actually kind of weird if you think about it, right? It's like opposite. Okay, I can see that. Yeah, we'll see. I've got the the good angel, and then the little devil. <laughs> that's I don't know if that's left and right brain, but one. <laughs> Your dad is crazy. All right, so what is the coolest thing you learned this year? Um, I picked up quite a bit of stuff as we were going along, but one of the things that kind of was memorable um, was doing some of our science kits, and we were playing around with iodine and using plastic bags and other plastic items and stuff, and I did not know that... You know, I understand molecules and speeds of molecules and stuff like that, but I didn't know that the iodine molecules could slip past the bag, like a Ziploc bag, and end up um, staining outside of the bag while still being inside the bag. It was pretty interesting. That was actually the kind of like... One thing that kind of amazed me about that experiment is that the little white tube plastic thing that was wrapped around, kind of, mm -hmm. that didn't get any color by the iodine. Mm -hmm. It, some of it's completely resistant, and some is just kind of mind blowing. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it was it was it was crazy. Mm -hmm. But that that's why really we like cool that's why we like STEM. <laughs> yeah. STEM. <laughs> is that, are we gonna have voting now? <laughs> Which parents cooler? <laughs> no one's cool. For the record, it's me. <laughs> I'm just how about it's a tie? Okay. We yes. can be equally cool. Thank yeah. you. Okay. So I think the coolest thing I learned this year, because you may know I'm a math geek, um, was when you were doing your multiplication times tables and you're like, hey mom, look at this. Just like randomly. And it was something I had never seen. And it's that all of the products, or most at least that we did up to, of the nine times tables, the answers add up to nine. So like nine times one is nine. Nine times two is 18, and one plus eight is nine. Like, you like all of the products. What like, is that other Even nine times 10, nine plus zero is still nine. Like, I all still, of the... I still haven't got your cheat. Oh, the <laughs> nines? Okay, so <laughs> Explain this these are your nine times tables. Nine times one, you have nine fingers left. Nine times two, this is your tens, and this is your one, so it's 18. Nine times three is 27. So, like, this side, yeah, nine times four is I now 36. I'm going to have to work on that. <laughs> That's like sign nine. language. I went to work on that one. <laughs> I know what nine times nine equals. It was eighty-one. Yeah. See, same thing. There's eight over here. This is your and then your one. ones. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, there's all kinds of little tricks, but that's a trick I knew. Yeah, I've been watching y'all do that when I've been trying to pick it up in the background. <laughs> and it's not working well for me. So when she just randomly was like, "Hey, mom, look," the all of the products because she had written them out. Yeah. And it was like they all like 45, 54. like all of the product answers. If you add them together, equal nine still. Like, they all that's, the nines. Really it, cool. it was just really one of those, like, okay, moments. So, I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, Emily, next question. What made you, what is either something you did or learned or just something in general that made you the most proud this homeschool year? I have to say my spelling has come very far. And to get to where I am now in spelling... Accomplish, accomplishing. Yes, and comp. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Accomplishing. Accomplishing all of the words that I have has made me very proud. So the fact that you're able to spell more independently is what you're the most proud of. Yes. Why? Well, I, I don't know. I'm pretty impressed with your cursive writing. So is that the thing you would be the most proud of this homeschool year? <laughs> it's torn. It's like uh, partly the math. Yes, um, because been, she's learned to somewhat enjoy it, at least, or see the real world. I mean, she doesn't love it, but she doesn't 
but she's just like come, it she anymore has come either. so far and then in our stem we're doing math and we're doing word problems and measurements and time and decimals and conversions and we're doing stuff down there with our science projects um but and you've just kind of seen her blossom with math with math but watching her going through the house while i'm doing my other chores or whatever i'm doing at the time um and watching her do her cursive writing which she was always okay at writing and she would try to write and do her stories and all that but when she found out how beautiful cursive can be it's like she gave up on anything else other than cursive and honestly her cursive blows her print out of the water. Yeah. I my, mean... I'm glad she didn't get that from me. <laughs> <laughs> and in all seriousness, because your writing is so illegible, yeah. that was a concern of yours, was yes. writing. Because you wanted to make yeah, sure that I she didn't draw, have to... I can draw a picture on a grain of rice. I can't write nothing that's not a mix of a print and a cursive and a capital and lowercase and... Yeah. So that was something that was important I, to you. I was worried about that, but she's definitely picked up from you, which I'm pretty happy about. <laughs> okay. And I think the thing that I, it's funny because it kind of all falls into the same category, but I think the thing that I'm the most proud of this homeschool year has been your writing. And I don't mean like your handwriting. I mean like your actual, you, you found your writer's voice. You always in years past would either because you didn't want to physically write it or because you didn't know how to spell it, or you know, maybe you didn't like the way your print looked, I'm not sure, but you would kind of take the easy way out. You would pick the shortest word and write the shortest sentence that you possibly could for everything. And I have seen you blossom as a writer this year from our journaling and our poetry adventures and your story writing. I mean, even in your free time, you've been writing stories and they're detailed and long. Yeah. And, and not just that I think that long is important, but I see you, developing that inner writer voice and her creative writing has just mm -hmm. just blossomed so much that well, it makes it, me very it's, proud it start everything's starting to match her vocabulary yes. which is all based on her literary skills she has so well read um you're right her writing is kind of at the level everything's of catching up and everything's coming yeah. together so it's pretty cool i agree okay emily what is something that you wish we had done more of this year in our homeschool I would really like to see us more in the kitchen because you remember when um, I used to cook, help like help dad in cooking? And you can help mm -hmm. me time. <laughs> <laughs> and you're right because we used to do a lot of baking together too. And while we did some yeah. over the holidays. But we're still not really baking as much. That was probably really the most baking that we did was during the holidays. Yeah. We didn't do a lot yeah. otherwise. Uh, I think so. we've been more active outside and well, going we, well we have because our one thing this year was field trips remember yeah. and so we've made sure that we've done a lot of those where so. yeah the opportunity before was we were almost we were stuck home and or pushed into being in the house so we were trying to make the best of a bad situation by right. including her in something basic like cooking dinner or baking because we were stuck here yes whereas now not that baking and cooking isn't great because it is and we will definitely do more of it um we're like getting out, right? Because we can. Yes. So. I yes. know I love the outdoors too. It's just, um, I You also, wish we were doing more of the other. Yeah, I, I like to bake and cook sometimes. And that's okay. Yeah, we love trying to squeeze everything into one day. <laughs> we do. There, if only there was more than 24 hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what about you? Babe, what is something that you wish we had done more of this homeschool year? Standard answer for all the time is um, more art more stem because it's getting better and better but i'm not done yet um i don't know i'm pretty happy with the topic. i was gonna say but you saying that isn't because we didn't do a lot of it it's because you just love it so much you could always do I'm, more i'm happy and i'm excited to see where we've come from where we are right now but i the anticipation of what's left to do what's and, to come and because now it's like i can sit and watch her and I can answer questions when it gets a little stiff, but other than that, mostly it's it's her hands in there getting it done, and so I can relax a little bit, enjoy it a little bit more. I'm not performing; I'm actually participating or watching. It's, it's no longer us being like 
dictators of the journey were just get to be side by side on the journey with her. Is That's what right. It's like, yeah, and I'm waiting for her to just take the lead and just run with it. And she has and be on your so teacher. many things. That works for me because <laughs> I got a lot to learn. Agree. <laughs> so I think the thing that I wish we had done more of this year is probably read alouds. And that's 100% my fault. But she took off so quickly this year. All you by took herself. off. Yeah. Like yeah. every book that I was like, okay, I bought this for a read aloud. Next thing I knew, like she had read half of it already. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, okay. And I love that. I totally love that. Um, and so, but I think it's just an adjustment for me because for so many years, 100%. And then nine, it's like every year while I still do read aloud, it's less and less every year because she's reading more and more on her own. Yeah, but I've also noticed that uh, you have read, maybe not orally to her, but you're picking up back where you're able exactly. to read Exactly. I books. mean, I am still reading she, as much. I'm just reading, reading for her, myself. You're reading on yours. And both we of read your, parallel. Yeah. So even, <laughs> Oh, yeah, like parallel lines. Parallel mm -hmm. lines are lines that never cross. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like that. So us sitting side by side reading our own books individually. But we cross, though, because typically, you know, our legs are on top of each other. When we're no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> True. But, so I guess we're not really parallel lines, are we? Not quite. No. <laughs> okay, so on that same note, what is something, Emily, that you wish we had done less of? Maybe math. Oh. And not because you don't like it, just because it's probably your least favorite of them all, right? Like, yes. But yes. you're getting so good at it. I and know. it applies to everything. <laughs> it's just not her favorite. And if she could just push math away and have more time for reading and writing, I think she would willingly do that. Maybe if I only had to do, like, a segment of school of math. Cause like, just a little bit. Yeah, I... I like do I love doing math with dad because he explains it in a way. And I love that you're trying really hard not to hurt mommy's feelings. Like I love doing math with dad. You're not my favorite That's person to I do like math, doing with, math mom. with you too because mama tried to help me with my math. <sighs> okay, in my defense, in case you're, you're watching this, you're really and, good at math. And you're like, wait, what? I am very, very good at math. Like very it good comes at math. super natural to me. And so breaking it down to teach it to other people is apparently something I find challenging, <laughs> according to both of them. So, we outsource. Dad helps, and then we outsource to other places, right? And then Mom just plays the math games with you, for the most part. It's not that you're terrible at math, because you're super great. It's just I'm just not the best math it. teacher. You just can't I don't think you have the okay. patience. For well, it. no, because I get it so quick, and I'm like, well, I don't understand why y'all don't understand this. Like, I just don't, I don't understand I, it. I get math very well. I do very well you with do. math. Both of but you do. I just. Like, when I was in college and I was working through some of my stuff that <laughs> was still above me and I wasn't getting and I would ask you and that didn't work out too well. So, <laughs> Emily and I came to the conclusion we're on our own on that one. So, we <laughs> Or the Khan same, Academy. We, speak, we watched a yeah, lot of Khan no, Academy. <laughs> they rock. <laughs> yeah, but, they no, we speak the same language on that. So Y'all really do, though. Yeah. So, that was kind of lucky that you were able to come home and help as the math got harder. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to answer first before you, um, just because I can. I think something I wish we had done less of, and by we, I don't mean you. I mean me, um, is worrying, like, and stressing, and... How do you mean? Well, because as a, as a homeschool mom, like, I find that as much as I try not to have freak-out moments, I still oh, have okay. freak-out moments, okay, okay, you know, okay. like, and worrying that she's behind, even though I know in my heart there's no such thing as behind, and I preach there's no such thing as behind, but I'm human, and so there's still those moments where I'm like beating my head against the wall because I'm second like, oh, guessing. yeah, and second guessing and that. being insecure with either my choices or my decision and not trusting the process. And so while I feel like every year I do a little less, I still obviously wish I had done even less of that. So I think as far as homeschooling goes, that would be the one thing I wish I had done less of because if I wasn't worrying and stressing and second guessing and feeling insecure, then I personally feel like I would have enjoyed our homeschool year even more. And Emily probably would have too because she would have had a less worried and stressed out mom and somebody who wasn't like, you know, freaking out that she didn't know whatever it was. I can't even think of an instance right this moment, but you know what I mean? Like, 
No, I have to agree because, I mean, we watched it, and especially coming from brick and mortar, um, knowing nothing about homeschooling, um, starting the journey as just a, we'll do a little bit and see how it rolls, and then getting more and more invested in it. Um, and then second guessing at the end of the school year going, okay, did, you know, we're finishing up. How did do we you, hit how, all of yeah, our goals? How, how do you know that you really did good? Um, or if you're not doing well, who's there to tell you? And so you turn in your portfolios, you, you talk to people, you do a little bit of research. And trusting the process can, can be hard, especially when you homeschool the way we homeschool, right? Because we don't necessarily like oh we completed 180 lessons we learned everything we need to learn like because we follow her lead and, and we because don't do we, the workbooks all the way from exactly cover to from, cover, and so we that, dabble in yeah. things and it makes yeah. it i mean it doesn't make it more difficult but sometimes you question yourself because you're like am i doing what's right and i would sit here and say at the end of this homeschool year we 100 percent did what's right Oh, we, and I'm glad yeah, we did it that yeah, way. Yeah, but yeah. it doesn't mean that we're not human and that those doubts don't sneak it, in. It's hard to just trust the journey. It's <laughs> it like, is. It, it's but like, you know, I think it's hard to trust the journey even if you homeschool with... I mean, because you're you're sitting there with like one standard curriculum and then you're questioning, is this the right fit for my child? Is there a better one out there? Like, or, or what if what if it is a, a curriculum that it just does not work for you, whether it's a good curriculum or a bad curriculum? If for you and yours... How do you even know that if it's you're banging your head against the wall, both of you are like just throwing your hands up, you can't get the concepts, and you're in the middle of it. It's like, okay, what do you do? You stop, you drop it, and you step back and forth. Or you try to change things and, you know, modify it to work for you because maybe the funds aren't there to buy something else. I mean, there's, there's tons of different things. I mean, mm. it's just... I think insecurity is natural, and then obviously I just wish that there was less of it. But it's, I find that all the things that I was com concerned about, mm -hmm. especially being on the outside, going to work every day, and then coming home, and wanting proof, wanting to see the results. <laughs> uh, no, for real. I know, you were um, like, because let I'm me see paper. Because I'm concerned, you know, this is my child. I want my child to have everything, you know, unscrew her cap and dump it in and make sure she's got it all. Um, and I don't want to miss anything. Then I'm worried, you know, are, are we catching it? Are we doing it? Is it working? And then to watch, especially this year, how she kind of blossomed, like I said, and she took to, to the ball, ran with it, with her writing, with her cursive, with her well, math. And you were, this year was like your first, Yeah, like you were yeah. here and present and not that you weren't present before you weren't here, but like you took part in so much more this year. You were mm -hmm. as present as I was. So I think you got to see more and experience mm -hmm. more and kind of see that like what we're doing does work and it's what's best for her. And it makes it more fun for all of us. Um, and I think it makes us all want to homeschool because we, you know, we do it together. Oh, I wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't either. And I love that daddy's home because now we can homeschool as a family. As a family. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so our one thing this year, in case you don't know what I'm talking about, we choose one kind of habit every year that we want to really focus on, or our one thing that we want to make a priority. In the past, we've done read-alouds, game schooling, art, uh, poetry tea times, but our one thing this year was field trips, because last year we didn't get to do hardly any. Um, so would you guys say that we accomplished that? Did we meet our goal? Did we do a ton of our one thing? Was field trips a successful one thing this year? Yes. Totally. But I'm not done. <laughs> I agree. There's yeah. still a lot of the year left, and I'm not stopping. I agree and, with that. And there's but... still a lot of places to explore, and we've only explored, like... A very, very small percentage. Only, yep. The far farthest I think we've gone is probably Kentucky. Yes, that's probably true. We haven't gone any farther yet so yet. Yeah. i'm excited when we get out there and just see the world and see where our car and mind and family takes us okay well because our one thing this year was field trips mm -hmm. um what was your favorite field trip this year emily um i'm thinking maybe the field trip when we went with Ellie. Okay, to which? I think it was. Remember the one with the big, um, little, the big giant air plant. 
Oh, to one of the state parks. So that would have been yeah. Washington Oaks Gart. Yeah, right. Washington yeah. Oaks yeah, Garden State sure Park. Yeah, that was our first one. And there were tons of fields, and we ran in all of them trying to catch butterflies. So that state park was your favorite field trip of the year? That was probably my favorite field trip um, that we have done so far with Ellie. Okay. What about, like, total? Was that your favorite one of the entire homeschool year? Um, actually, this might be the craze, crazy one. But I think I also liked the one where we did Kindy Space Center and the Air Show and Universal. And all <laughs> that, of that wasn't one field trip, though. That just so happened. Okay, so we did, what was it, two weeks? Yeah. And it was like back to back to back. We did yeah. Kennedy Space Center, Universal, the Sanford we, Space we Air doing, Space Show. We were doing some space stuff. And so, yeah, curriculum. and then that happened and to then come. We were doing that. And then the air show came around, and I try to every get year to go and to And then the we air had show. already scheduled Smoky Mountains and Mammoth as our and national then we parks had for last end year. Up at Universal, so we went <laughs> to Kennedy, then we went to Universal, yeah. then we left Universal and went to the air show, and then we came home, switched everything up, repacked, and then we headed out of state. And to the we went to Mammoth Cave Mammoth and Cave. then Smoky Mountains. Yes. So <laughs> she's like, that's one big field trip. Oh, one big one. Yeah. It was just one. It was just one. It's like, big, gro like grocery shopping. We just it wasn't nothing. It was like two weeks. It was definitely crazy. Okay, babe, what was your favorite field trip this year? Yeah, yeah. That one. Okay, but pick one. Like, which one of the things that we did? I'm gonna say mammoth. I'm gonna say mammoth, but definitely not concrete. No. No, no, that wasn't. We didn't do Congre this no, year. That was saying, last year. Yeah, mainly. oh, I know Congre is your least favorite yeah, national park. Yeah, it's my park. least favorite national park so far. Um, but it makes sense, kind of, why it's called Mammoth Cave because it, it was very big. Because there's yeah. a little hole that's like, yeah, it was huge. Okay, so obviously my top would be the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Like that was my most memorable moment. That was my favorite field trip. Yeah, I get to say that. It was just really awesome. Yeah. But if I had to pick, like, a second one, just because that was also my most memorable moment, I would say, I think, Kennedy Space Center. Because we had spent so many months studying space. I mean, yeah. don't get me wrong. I love the national parks. But we had spent so many months studying space. So to be able to, like, go and see so much of the things that we had studied mm -hmm. in person and, you know, and the, the vastness of those things. Like, to literally be standing under one of the shuttles and... I just uh, thought it was a really cool experience. I loved how it had a play place, which was one of my favorites. But it wasn't just that. I liked how you kind of saw... So we can just save money and take her to the park. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you were kind of learning what, what you we were. As, as long was... as I drive a lot, so it seems like we're going somewhere far. Somewhere really far. <laughs> you end up at the same park every day, it'd be fine. That's funny. All right, so basically I think we're saying that we had a great homeschool year, right? Yeah. I mean, overall, if we're yeah. reflecting on the homeschool year, it was a really good one. The best one. <laughs> I I think she's right. I think this was probably our best year yet. I feel like every year gets... I think we can gets... do better. I'm not, I you... think we can do better. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like I, every I year think... gets better and better. Yeah. I think that because I'm getting older, so I'm allowed to do bigger things, and that's what makes uh, it better. You mean like... Velocicoaster. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She was tall enough to go on Velocicoaster at Universal recently, and that is something that they have not quit talking about at it all. Is We're still working awesome. on it. You'll go. I'm not getting on that. You'll Just go. for the record, you guys, I am not getting on that roller coaster. That roller coaster <laughs> is. No. That is. There's that this is one because you cannot part. sell that to me as a homeschool experience, and so I'm just going to keep my feet on the ground. There's this oh, one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like yeah, a yeah, one yeah. tall part that goes. <laughs> and then you get it all the way sound, to too. the top. And you can see the whole entire islands of venture down below you. It's so cool. No, I'm not writing that. <laughs> not happening. Okay. We love You're, roller coasters. Yes, y'all do love them. I like baby roller coasters. Hagrid's is as wild and crazy as it gets for me. But that is not here nor there. That has really nothing to do with our home school year. Other than to say that we had a lot of fun. We went on tons of field trips and had amazing adventures and that we really did enjoy it. And I do agree this was our best homeschool year yet. They keep getting better and better. So, mm -hmm. yes, Kevin, we can do better. We'll do better next year. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
We hope you guys had a wonderful homeschool year too. I would love it if you would tell us in the comments, maybe your answers to a few of our questions. What were your most memorable moments from your homeschool year? Or what's something you wish you had done more of or something you wish you had done less of? I cannot wait to read what you guys have to say.